I'm Shiroi, and I just wanted to get into some basic points before getting right into the video. Whenever you go up against Gabriel, usually it's a pretty good rule of thumb not to be very far away from him. And if you are far away from him, it's honestly better to just reset the situation than to fight him long range. Unless, of course, you have a long range based mech. If you don't have a long-ranged mech, you could still fight him if you have an Ion Cannon, but I wouldn't necessarily advise it, as a good Gabriel can punish you for getting out of your mech, so just be careful. Something I see some players do is that they don't seem to think Gabriel is capable of fighting at closer ranges, but unfortunately for them, he is still quite powerful at close range as well mainly because he has his unscoped firing mode and his scoped firing mode animation cancelling, which can do quite a lot of damage if mastered properly. So let's say you're in a 3v3 with a Gabriel. Usually what you would try to want to do is maybe try to circle around the Gabriel if you haven't been spotted yet. If you haven't been spotted by a Gabriel, this is the perfect time to have two of your teammates move in get the Gabriel distracted with them, and then you can flank behind him and catch him off guard. Additionally, you can pressure the Gabriel with movement, or have one of your teammates go out of mech with anti-mech weapons if they don't have a good way of pressuring him. Now another thing you might want to try to do is trying to close the gap with Gabriel. But be careful when doing this, because while Gabriel may be super amazing at sniping, Gabriel is still very dangerous close range. Now let's say you're in a long range engagement that is very tough to get out of. You can always try your best to cut off line of sight and reposition yourselves knowing that they are there. Whether it be flanking or just retreating from the battle in general, it might honestly be better to just leave the battle than to keep it going when you're going to lose it. If you find yourself in a situation where you're in medium-ish range with Gabriel and his teammates aren't quite with him, honestly, it's very good to just focus him the best you can. It's important to note that Gabriel effectively makes any battle that you get in into a 1v2, because while you're fighting someone else, their teammate, which is a Gabriel, is just going to keep shooting you and shooting you. So just keep that in mind and try your best to avoid his shots while also shooting the person you're fighting. Now, additionally, you can make every shot for Gabriel very, very awkward. The way of doing this is usually by jumping, dashing, hiding behind buildings. Maybe sometimes you could just suddenly stop moving and it'll throw up his shot because a good Gabriel usually will try to predict where you're going to be moving and either pre-aim that spot or just be tracking you with that in mind. So whenever you do jump, when you're a Skylark, it's usually good to just mix it around and go left maybe if you're going right and things like that. Or if you're a mech that can fly, usually it's good to change your level of height or speed the best you can to throw them off. And it's also good to take note of how many shots a Gabriel has taken at you. It can range from 5 to 8 shots depending on whether or not they're using the energy bank module and whatever they have as their module on. Alright, so that's going to be the video, and I know I didn't quite get to go over any matchups, but I do plan to go over those as time goes on, and I will be making a more in-depth video on Gabriel. So anyone who isn't interested in playing Gabriel but wants to know how Gabriel works can also watch that video as well. I hope some of this information was useful to you, or that it made you think of Gabriel in a different way so that you know how to approach him in the future. This is a very basic breakdown on how to handle Gabriel in a squad setting, but I will be going more in depth in a later video about how to handle him and with mech matchups considered. Thank you for watching, and if you have anything you'd like to pitch in about how to counter Gabriel in the comments, or things you feel I didn't go over, Feel free to let me know and let others know. Thank you!